all right welcome back to another live stream on what's a tuesday another grease monkey live stream we will be here doing at start of the week hopefully everybody's doing all right out there space cookies here hi bgm which i assume stands for background music i'm just kidding glad you're here uh Ferd, good to see ya, of course. Always good to see ya. In the chat, feeling feeling pretty good. Hope you guys are doing well. Today, I don't have anything planned for today, so we're just going to be making a scene. Uh, last week, whoa, this guy Mo in the chat, he gave me some example pictures of things he likes. And I liked one of them, and I thought one would be relatively easy to do on stream. So that's what we're going to do on the stream. What was the Chaos Crystals as a power source in your undersea base? Was that a Chaos Crystal in the power source in your undersea base? <laughs> that it was definitely part uh basically that 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 was from uh the extras add-on and blender it's just a, a diamond but yes we'll say it's the chaos since we're on theme sonic sonic is out you know we're here and third you said you're in the waiting area getting your covid booster nice very nice very nice very nice i think i have to get mine too but good 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 glad everybody's getting Doing the necessary precautions for society. The sacrifice. Very good. Alright, so. Let me show you guys. The picture we're going to be imitating. So let me, um. Let me pull it up here. Okay. So if you look on the right here. This image, yeah, uh, I think Mo. It's my first booster, though. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I had my booster. Yeah, I got like vaccine. I did the double shot vax and a booster. So I don't know if I need another one. Probably eventually, but we'll see. Well, I'm glad you're getting it, regardless. It's good to have. Anyway, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so Mo sent me a picture of things he likes. He sent me this, and I thought it looked cool. And I also thought it looked, you know, there's a lot, there's a, lot, there's a few things going on here. But um, I think it's all doable within like a stream, which is like two, three hours. Uh, you know, we got some walls. We got, uh, oh, Stony Space Rocket. <laughs> Yeah, they're dealing out two boosters now. The second, the second booster now. Nice. I guess I should go. I should probably get mine. But needles. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so this looks like uh, I don't know inside of a big concrete building or something like that. Um, there's smoke. Space Cookie says it's a a space rocket. We're gonna change what this is. I don't know what this is, but we're definitely gonna change it. We're gonna have the people. We're going to do the thing. We're going to do the walls. We're going to see if we could do some fake light rays. We're going to do that. We're going to do it all in Eevee and see if we can come close within the, the first two hours. And then, you know, we'll add some stuff to complicate it and uh, make it better or uglier. I don't know. Depends on who's ever looking. So. Ah, so first things first. We are going to... Um, we're gonna get we're gonna get the camera in this ratio. What is the the four three ratio on Instagram? Hold on, let me see. Instagram ratios, image ratios, a four five ratio. That's the one I'm looking for. What are in pixels? What is a four five ratio? So 
Sorry, guys. I'm looking at the dimensions. Unless you guys know off the top of your head. What? What a 4 or 5 ratio HD picture is. Still looking. Alright, there it is. 1080 by 1350. Alright, 1080 by 1350. So let's do that. 1080 by 1350. There's our ratio. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we got that all set up. We, there's our camera, we're looking at the front here, we got our image. Let's take off some of this grid stuff that always annoys me. I should just save it so it's not here. Uh, okay, so we got our thing set up. Uh, this looks like it's inside of a building because of the, the arrays here. So let me just Put in the sun ray in the right area. So let's set up the sun. It looks like it's going from the top left. <gasps> Look how the sun rises. So let's do that. And just so we can see this a little better, we'll, we'll rotate it here. There we go. This, uh, we can see a lot going on here. So this is probably a wide lens. Let's do something super wide, like, uh, like 18, 18 millimeters something super wide uh, and let's start off by making our ground plane we'll erase our cube uh, and in edit mode is where I edit it so let's edit it out you can see that you can't even see it so let me bring up the camera just a tad bit here doesn't look like the camera is tilted but you know we'll, we'll definitely fix that as we go uh, I'm going to make a small little person down here. So let's do a cube and make sure that our dimensions, or at least the height, is like, I don't know, 1.7 meters. That's like an average height, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> 0.5. All right, so let's put this cursor down here. Uh, set the origin to the 3D cursor. There we go. All right, we got the size of a person. It's way too bright. Let's bring down the the sun. Uh, you can kind of see it down here. Make the Blender Minecraft version. <laughs> That'd be funny. All right, there's a little person. You can kind of see him down here. Uh. You know, for aesthetic reasons, we'll make the background uh, a gradient. But we're not going to need it. It's going to be inside. I just want to do it for now. Because I like doing it. I like it. I like it like a lot. Gradient. What is this? 90. 90 degrees. And we're just going to change the colors. with a color ramp so let's change these colors let's make it colorful it's not going to be exactly like our reference here but we'll use the, the the good old trusty cotton candy colors pink and blue good old trusty whatever you can see that the lights affecting uh, our um, you know our character here what, we're, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if it looks better if it's not being affected and we can change it on our own so we're gonna go to texture buh, 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 texture no, no no mix put that on the second one uh, and then put in an input light path light path light path and we'll do is camera ray 
All right. So it make, gives us our background, but it, it doesn't. Have the 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 light of the background doesn't affect our thing. Hey, homie, Grease Monkey, back on his boss game. Thank you, Kelly, for the super chat. Okay, so we're here. We'll do a Control H, which hides everything in our uh, in our thing here in our in our node. So we will we will do that. So the la last thing I want to do is you can see that when I stretch this out, let's see if it goes. Kind of disappears. I just want to make sure that our clipping on both our uh, viewport is set to something high. I'm going to do 5000 and same thing with the camera. The camera has its own clipping. So let's make sure that's set. That is over here. Nope, here. Clipping at 100. We're going to put it at 5,000. Does You can't tell a difference now, but it affects it later as we start building out our scene. All right, so we got our little person here. Uh, let's start organizing our stuff. Let's put this, the camera and the light in its own little utilities collection. Hitting M, utilities. Just to get organized here uh, and we'll put in our cube here we'll, we'll call it person that zero 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 uh, we'll also put this in the collection persons persons okay and then uh, the collection that has the ground play we'll call it you know room just so we're nice and organized. We'll save this. So let's save this in our project file. We'll call this Stony Launch Bay. <laughs> sure. Maybe we'll name it something different later. Okay, Stony Launch Bay. Cool. We got our colors. We got our thing set up. Um, uh, okay, cool. I think we're we're pretty much set here. Let's start building out the overall geometry here, uh, and then start add adding in like the little small things to make it look like this scene. So first, I'm gonna select all, and then we're gonna stretch this out. Um, I wish I had like guidelines for the for the the example image. Like I don't think it has. There's no guideline images here, right? RGB, blah blah blah. Anyway, it would be cool to have like guidelines because then I can put it in. Because I'm gonna put guidelines on my camera right now. So if I just go to my camera and go to view composition guides, I can like break up the scene into different parts. I can't see it actually. Why can't I see it? Oh, there it is. Can I not see it in rendered view? Oh, there it is. Oh, I guess this view doesn't have it. Anyway, so, you know, I got like the center. I got all these guidelines. So I'm going to do uh, into thirds and the center. So I know where the center is. I know where the thirds is. And I'm just going to follow like some, some, some basic ass rule of thirds stuff. For now, for the beginning, you know, you need constraints in the beginning before you start playing around here. So I'm either going to A, raise the camera. Let's see if that's better. I don't like it because it's like way too high. So I'm going to rotate the camera. To here, just so it reaches that, that third. All right. And then we're going to bring in our, our little character here <laughs> that we'll replace later. Uh, and we'll hit Alt D. See, we'll just do it the way that they did it, and then we'll we'll change it up. I hold Shift, and then I press a, a uh, an axis, so X Y Z, and whichever one I hold, uh, I press is the axis I don't want it to go on. So if I hit, excuse me, I burped. So if I hit Shift Z, it'll only go on the X and Y axis. So it's not going up. See, I'm moving it all around. If I were to move this around, you see how it goes off of the, the land here, off of the, the ground. But I just want to move it on the ground floor, on the plane that it's at. So if I hit Shift Z, you see that it does everything but the Z plane. And you can see I can move them around. So let's put this guy over here. 
we're kind of imitating that there you go we got our basic rule of thirds blah 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 uh and um i'm gonna stretch this guy out or the this this corner here until it reaches this point of the rule of thirds so scale on the x there it is actually no we're gonna imitate the scene here so let's looks like it's about here okay we'll grab this end here and we'll bring it out to about there to about that rule of third okay it looks like this goes off into the distance right so we'll keep it going we'll make it really large super large out there uh, we'll probably add some fog and stuff like that afterwards uh, let's now extrude the the right side here. So I selected the the right side, and we'll hit E and Z, and we'll bring this up all the way to the top, so it's large. There we go. What's interesting is it looks like it's tilted, so I'm not even sure what is happening here. Let's see. Nope, it's not tilted. I guess it's just the the camera tilting it. <clears throat> Or not tilting it, but like the the distortion of the, the the wide, I guess. So let's we have it at 18. Nothing's rotated in a weird way, right? We're just looking up and down. Yeah, it's the it's the distortion of looking up and down. It's just pretty cool. Um, all right. Let's see what I'm gonna do next. I think I'm gonna change this, some of the settings in the camera here. Sorry guys, I got import when you when when you check the mail, it's never letters from dear old friends. It's always some sort of bill or something. So that's what I was being reminded of now. Getting letters in the mail is not fun as an adult. <laughs> Maybe it's good news, my wife says. Maybe it's good news. I'm just gonna believe her. All right. So there's a couple things I want to do. I want to change the camera. The camera you can change here. If you see this little, I don't know what they call it. They call it like a hamburger menu. Is it called anything? A drop down menu? Whatever. You can select the type of sensor the camera is. So you know you got like the Red Dragon 5K, the the 6K, the 8K, the Alexa. We're here. A one inch phone camera I always get reminded by the town council that they will always remember me it's kind of touching when they send me a bill <laughs> exactly exactly they're like oh thank you but then I'm like I'm starting to think this relationship's one-sided <laughs> uh, I just pick my favorite camera and just move on with my life so I'm gonna do the the Alexa 65 let's see what that does it just changes the sensor size I don't know it does something it's fun to mess around with though you can see what it does here uh, see the the sensor size vertical sensor auto sensor the red dragon 5k yeah let's just do the red dragon 5k Oh, let's do full frame. Full frame. We'll just do full frame and be on with our lives. Okay, cool. So it looks like from looking at this, just this alone, this is a little too close to me. So let's bring this out. What's crazy is this distortion. Maybe this should be the other way around. So instead of a wide lens, let's 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 flip this around. I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a a super large lens. Let's do like a one a 100 millimeter lens. We obviously don't see what's happening here, uh, but it's just really close. So I'm going to bring it all this guy all the way back till we see some stuff. 
Negative 500. How about that? Wow, we don't see anything. All right, maybe not 100. Maybe let's do 80. All right, let's move him. The picture reminds me a little of Jim Burns art. He does a lot of sci-fi art and really big scale scenes. There we go. This may look a little better. I got to check out Jim Burns if you're saying that. All right, I think we're getting closer to the look here. Okay. So I'm going to go here, uh, I'm going to rotate the camera I just keep adjusting until we, we get something good here. Okay. I think we're closer here. There's less distortion. Yeah. See how it lines up with this line. You can still kind of see it. It's very slight. Okay. There we go. I think a wide lens was not the way to do it. Jiraj, how's it going? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by as usual guys up here there we go all right I hope nobody on the stream minds me eating while I do this you got some ASMR chewing I'm sorry if, it, if it's loud please let me know <laughs> Okay, so we got our scene. We're gone. It's supposed to be a long lens, not a wide, because uh, the distortion was getting at me. It looks like this wall here, you know, has like a bent feature. That's pretty cool. You know, we got a wall with some like windows. I don't know, and a cavern that just goes down. So let's build out that little cavern by just extruding it down. Can't even see it on on the. On the, uh, the the camera, but that's okay. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna cut this wall in half. But I was, I want to make the wall just barely visible. Let's see, right there. Set the scale a little better. We're gonna cut this wall in half. So let's cut it about where I think it is. Let's see. about there okay and then we're gonna move it in to give it that same aesthetic maybe we should do like a, a matte cap here all right I'm gonna be silent for like a couple couple minutes here while I chew, guys. So, see, this scene's almost done. No, I'm just kidding. But we got a lot of the basics done. All right. And then we have, like, a, an angled wall with some, um, with some, uh, like, windows and stuff. So, we're going to build that out real quick. So, let's, let's do that. We're going to call this plane, you know, like, ground, just so we know. Let's do another plane. Uh, I'm going to rotate it on the X. Let's... Let's isolate it so we can see it here. Rotate on the X. 90 degrees. We're also going to make it very large. 
Uh, and we're gonna do a couple things here. We're going to make an array. So let me go into edit mode. I'm gonna cut this in half there, and I'm gonna cut it in half sideways. And I'm doing this because I'm gonna be adjusting these windows on the fly so I don't have to redo them all the time. There we go, we got the Z axis or whatever. All right, and then the size, let's make it something like a number that makes sense, right? So let's make it, let's make it 30, 30 meters. There we go. Uh, I'm going to apply all the transforms and put an array. There we go. I'm going to rotate this on the Z90. There we go. We're going to make these windows. All right, let's unisolate this. Let's figure out what we're doing here. All right, so it looks like these walls, once again, they're angled. So let's rotate this on the Y, 45? No, it looks like 35. Mm, 25. 25 is good. 15? Maybe 15. I think it's 15. There we go. So we have the walls rotated at 15 degrees. Uh, and we can mess with these window the window panes here to see how long we uh, we can make them. All right. And then we will duplicate them into the distance. Maybe they're not big enough. Maybe they should be bigger. Not sure, but it looks like it's being blocked, like the like the sun ain't getting through, right? So we have a weird scene going on. So what we're gonna do is we're going to erase this back end. Uh, okay, we got some window light going through there, and let's see if we can get our light to be exactly. I think we did 15 degrees for that angle. We'll just do a perfect leaning. Or perfect rotation for that so let's do that let's go into object mode let's go into our light that's alt R which takes away all rotation so it's not pointing down it's gonna rotate negative 15 degrees there we go actually I'm just gonna rotate it as much as so I can see it And I also mess with the rotation here. Maybe even the the height. It looks like the height though is is correct. Like it's up in the corner. It's pretty big. Let's make the uh, make, let's make the window spacing bigger. So I'm just gonna move the edge on the Y. That kind of spreads it apart. There we go. Let's get a nice number here. I'm going to move this also on the Y just so I can get the light. You can't see it, but like uh, right here. So I can get this light at the bottom, right? So I'm just moving the light now just so we can get it right. Perfect. All works out there. And maybe I should bring this edge to the distance as well it's gonna go far there it is okay and then the other thing I want to do is extend this so this looks like a wall animate light jitter animate the light jitter <laughs> all right another moment of silence for my chewing
space. He says it looks like a picture of the loft. Now, all you need is some old boxes and maybe a giant owl or pigeon nesting. <laughs> I think so. I think so. All right, I'm gonna close up this light at the back here. I'm just gonna add in a plane to block it. We're gonna be using fog and stuff, so that should block it, but I'm gonna block it for now. Okay, so it looks like to be like a light back here. I'm not even sure where that's coming from. Is there a gap here? There probably is, isn't there? No, there's no gap. Hmm. Is it just from this light? <clears throat> nope, it's without this light. Interesting what's happening here. Is it from the sun? Nope, that's not it. Let's bring this guy up. Where's that light coming from? What is that sliver of light coming from? It's right here. Let me bring back my 3D cursor. That's where it's at. Well, it's interesting. It comes back as my, the, the view comes back. Let me. Interesting. Okay. So it's really dependent on whatever that light is back there is dependent on the distance of the camera. Which is kind of interesting. So I wonder if that has to do with uh, the camera. Let's see. Let's go to or the light. Maybe normal. Let me play normals. No, yeah, I don't think so. I think it's something to do with like the render distance of the camera. Uh, because yeah, if I move the camera forward, look. If I move the camera forward. Uh, you see how it goes, keeps going further and further in, and then it's, now it's dark. You know, I should do the scene here, probably, yeah? But if I go back, it, like, comes back. Is it because of the clipping? Let me see. It shouldn't be because of the clipping. No. It's not the clipping. 
It is a weird one. It is a weird one. I think... Let's improve uh, the shade, the shadow uh, settings, right? So we'll go to shadow, cube size, let's do 1024. That's 1024. Maybe you report it as a bug. I should. I should report it as a bug. Feels like a lot of paperwork. Uh, no, um, I'm not going to report it just yet. Uh, we're going to do hard shadows instead of soft shadows. So let's just make these hard for now. Because uh, the, the, the shadows are hard here too. So we'll, we'll just do that, right? Hard shadows. We got the sun here. Gives us the angle. Huh. Well, it is weird. It is weird. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use the plane just to make it dark. So we're just going to bring the plane up that we have back here. That's basically the wall. And we'll bring it in. So it kind of ends where it needs to end there. Uh, and then this light that's coming down is intersecting the, the roof there. So that's why I'm going to fix that. So let's do a couple things here. Let's make this not go to infinity or whatever. So let's bring this back. Grabbing the Y. There we go. And let's bring the arrays down for this one. Since we don't need that many. There we go. I wonder if scale would affect it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> We're just... We're not going to solve the, that issue on this stream. We're just going to cheat it. We're on a deadline. The client wants this now. <laughs> and the client is uh, me. I don't care how it's done. I just need it done. All right. We're doing a... go we're just bringing up the light way up here let's see if we can bring it at the right angle here we'll make it thick just so you can't see the intersection there uh, let's mess with some of these these settings we got custom settings. We'll put it out to 5,000. Let's see. That gives us that. We got the shape. Yep, yep, yep. We'll take off the shadows for now. Uh. see what what's happening over here what is this little sliver of light you see that what is that where's that coming from go away okay I think I know where it's coming from maybe this needs a couple extra do you know what Frost Frostrum is. I'm reading about light and shadow on large scale scenes. No. <laughs> Can you give me a, a rundown? Uh, from, from my understanding, Frostrum was like for cameras. So yes, please tell me if you, you have some of that knowledge.
Okay, all right. Let's change some of these settings again. Soft shadows. No. Yeah, what I definitely changed the cascades definitely gets a little closer, gets a little tighter. So we'll, we'll leave it at a, a at a higher at a higher cascade size there. But there is like a, a weird line appearing here that I don't uh, particularly enjoy. Let's change the light colors just so we could have some fun. I don't know, make this scene less boring. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna change the world setting to make the, the light affect it. So let's change that now. See what that, what happens here. Look at that. Gives it a weird look. Kind of weird, kind of interesting. I like the the color the color play we got going on though. It is nice. All right, let's keep let's keep tweaking here. Uh, I don't know. For fun, we will put the monkey here, just so we can. Do some some lighting. The light is mostly coming from the left in the windows. It says selecting the light under light properties. You can find some settings concerning the GLCL rendering of light. Is that for EV space cookie or is that for cycles? Because I'm not sure what that is. Because we got contact shadows, custom properties, uh, custom distance, rectangles. That's for area lights, point lights. They're all pretty much pretty similar here. Okay, so let's figure out this whole this whole light thing. Let's figure out what our sun is. Let's call it sun. Just so we know. Let me put this at the correct angle here. All right. We'll put it right where it gets hit. There we go. One of these windows here. And maybe these windows actually go up much higher. So let's do that. Let's dissolve this edge and bring all of this upwards. What am I not selecting here? All right, there we go. So this should work. The clip start. The clip start. And clip end are also worth looking at. They define the length of the shadow bundle. If you have a shorter length, there will be less artifacts of strips of shadows appearing on the surfaces. So that's probably that's what I was saying earlier. I think that's that's what it might might, what it might be the clipping. However, if you make it too short, it will disappear. The object comes too close to light. Blah blah blah. blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. We will definitely mess with that soon enough. Go into the face mode. Now 
let's bring this window up. <laughs> let's make them really big windows, right? That's what it seems like it is here, right? Really, really bright windows that go all the way up. And maybe there's less windows. Also, let's fix these points here since they're looking really crazy. Grab on the Z twice. There we go. Create a little less artifacts there. Uh, what we'll also do is we will. Yeah, we made them really thin. <laughs> so let's also make less of them. Let's go to line mode here. Select the line. We'll go on the Y. That was pretty much the whole post that was dropping knowledge. I can't post the link here, can I? I would just have I linked it. Uh, yeah, for some reason it doesn't it gives it gives issues. So, but clipping, I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> All right, let's bring this down the Y. There. All right, maybe it's too wide now, so let's make it just big enough. Maybe like right there. How many lights do we see? One, two, three, four. Maybe we see less. So let's bring a lot of this stuff. This guy, this guy, this guy. Just just roughly there. Alright, we're almost there. We're almost there. go we'll bring this guy closer all right probably a little less hold on this is just such minor stuff here Actually, I guess much less. There we go. Okay. Right, we're getting closer here. Slowly but surely. All right, we got some lights going on. It's hitting it. Okay. All right. So, see what happens when we blast the light even more times. We're going to do star two. Star two again. We're just times in the light. Making it super bright in here. I guess the back needs to be dark, so maybe we should be brightening this up. So what if we brighten up this? Ooh, if it's like 500, ah, that was the one. We're gonna divide this by four. Bring it, bring it back. Meh, maybe times two. There we go. The sun, obviously, that's like a little too much, right? 200, 100. What's crazy is that what's blooming is, is is on the right here, instead of like. Okay, if I know we're on the light problem now, uh, a few of the search results seems to mention the size of the light as a thing which can affect the shadow quality. I give up now. Actually, that may be it because the light is huge. This light is, like, if we look at this light, it's like 
let's isolate it. It's 500. There it is. See? This thing's huge. So that could be, that very well could be it. Honestly, that very well could be it. Giving us some like weird artifacts there at the end. What's interesting is this uh, sun angle here. Also, having the sun only affect the the glossy is pretty interesting too. It's like volume mouth. All right, see, so in Eevee, we're just gonna have to like fake a lot of this stuff, right? Like, if it, if this was like cycles, this would probably be like, I don't know, much easier. Maybe not much easier, but I don't know. The lights are gonna make more sense. Let's just switch the cycles real quick. See what that looks like. Yeah, right? Like, let's go to GPU. All right, so the sun's way too bright in cycles. So let's bring this down to one. One. You know what I mean? Like, this looks like already nicer. Space Cookie, I'm only so sorry, research so. Space Cookie, you did a great job. I think you have the answer. The answer is there. It's either the size of the light causing my artifacts, which this light is very big, um, or the clipping of either the camera or the viewport. So yeah, you did great. Like, look at this. This look this is looking pretty interesting in cycles. Uh, let's put on some more samples, though. Where's our samples? Do we have everything set? Hold on. Let me set. Make sure that we have all our stuff set for cycles rendering. Yeah, CUDA. Let's denoise. Man, the denoise is amazing. Even on like automatic. Well, I'm, I'm glad I'm. If I helped any, you did help. You did help. You did help. You did help. A lot. All right, we're an hour in. I'm just very conscious of time. <laughs> All right, we're an hour in. You know, what are the light we got in here? Oh man, the de the denoising is so interesting. It leaves like this weird effect on it, but uh, yeah, in cycles it looks pretty interesting. You know what I mean? Like, you know, would have to add in a bunch of fake stuff. All right, let's bring it back to uh, Eevee, even though it looks really cool. Okay. So let's do a couple things here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an array light, an array, an area light right on here. So let's let's isolate this. Let's look at it from the front. Let's select the edge here. So we're going to select this edge and this edge. And I'm doing that so I can hit the, the cursor, put it right there. Uh, so then when I spawn in a light, area light, the light is right in the center. Uh, I know that I'm at a 15 degree angle because that's how, how much I tilted it. So let's tilt it. Or maybe it's not. Is it like, so if it's like negative 45, is it negative 65? Is it negative 90 minus 15? No, is it negative 90 plus 15? I don't know. We're just going to eyeball it. Okay, so then we got the light. We'll change the size to a rectangle. And we will make it bigger. Let's see how big we can make it. 300. 
That's way too big. 150. 100. Okay, we'll make it just wide enough there, and then we'll make it 150. There it is. And the angle is completely off. So let's put the angle correct. Yeah, I guess it's 75 degrees. I don't know how that math checks out. Because I have this rotated at 15 degrees. So I don't know. Awesome tut using satellite shaders to match the ref. There are no shaders being involved, Kelly. <laughs> I have not I'm not even using materials. So Yeah, Kelly, there's no materials here. Everything's just blank and we're just using lights. That's all that's happening right now. We'll call this a window. We're gonna just put in the light uh, from a different, uh, we're gonna put all the light, oops. We're gonna put all the, the lights into, uh, a collection called lights. It's getting kind of cumbersome now. We'll put it in utility. Put this under persons, okay. All right, so we got our window. Let's see if we can bring it up. Is, that, is, is it even working? Oh, is it the third one? It's the third one, isn't it? Actually, what what the hell's happening? Why isn't my light working? Interesting. <laughs> so I had in a, a third light called window, and it is not working. It's a weird. It's not strong enough. No way. Huh. This is a weird thing. Okay. This light's not working. Oh, is it? Why doesn't it work? Is it pointing the wrong way? Is it the distance? This is so weird. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, it was definitely in the wrong, the wrong area, okay. Mo, hello, hello. Mo, you're the one who gave me this reference I'm using. That's what I'm doing right now. Working on this little reference here. Alright, there we go. Okay, it looks good. Well, thank you. It's still the beginning. We're still just uh, an hour in, so hopefully, I'll get this even closer soon enough. <laughs> uh, let's just change this window color to be the same. All right, there we go. All right, we're gonna be faking some stuff right now. Uh, 
There it is. That's the, what I was looking for. This like kind of like shining in through this like porthole here. You didn't get the light. You didn't get to the light and dust effects. No, 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 no. This is. I am still setting up a general scene here. I'm still trying to, still trying to figure out the correct approach for a lot of this stuff. Uh, a lot of it does not look great, but we're getting there. All right, so what I'm doing specifically right now is I'm using a custom distance on the light in the window because if I don't, it shines all the way in, but really I don't want that. I want it just to shine through that window. So there we go. We got like the, the port window there with a custom distance of 92, easy stuff. If I don't, it shines the whole room and that's not what I want. So window light, I think is pretty set here. If I make it even brighter, let's see. Two. It can be really bright. Uh, and I guess we could make it. How do I do this? Hold on. Maybe like on the x axis. Yeah, we can make it squatter, right? Or shorter. So it, it hits it right where it's supposed to there we go I think I'm imitating that light pretty decently there we'll fake uh, we're gonna fake those uh, those those light rays because you could do them like I don't know realistically for the light I think there is a portal portal option isn't that isn't the portal option um, for cycles I think that's a cycles feature unless it's not, but let me know because I don't see any anything here for that type of stuff. We're good. We have it where we need to be. We have it shining light. Oh yeah, we're in Eevee. We're in Eevee. We're gonna be we're gonna be faking a we're gonna be faking a whole lot of stuff. On cycles, yes, you would use portal. You would use like um, volume stuff so you can get the bloom or maybe some post processing. But we're just gonna fake all that in Eevee because like I don't know. People like Eevee, and it also works better on people, or faster on people's computers. We'll fake it. We'll fake it. We will fake it, and it will be good. Okay, so we got the light going on on the window. I'm very happy that that ended up turning out okay. Good stuff. All right, so now let me get this light here. Let me just copy the same point light here so it's the same color. Yes, true. Eve is much faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's much faster. Cycles looks great, though. I mean, I'm not... When you're doing realistic renders, VFX, or stuff like that, who knew lighting could be so complex? Right? Need more tuts using stylized shaders to match references. Kelly, I will definitely get to that. <laughs> but, uh... But I definitely want to work on some other stuff, Kelly. <laughs> We won't, we need to learn how to make scenes, Callie. We need to learn how to make scenes. Stylish shaders are all fun and stuff, but all right. So we got the light going, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. We got a little people there. Uh, it looks like we got like a light that's coming in. To hit like the 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 bottom, so that's that's what we're gonna try and imitate now. I think we'll do that with a separate light. We will. Oop! I will duplicate the window light. This is gonna be dot zero zero zero.
it'll probably be th this window. Uh, we're gonna make it hella weaker, so let's divide it by four. Let's take off this. That's what I wanted. To be honest, I use cycles because I'm lazy. Yes, yes. That's the trade-off too, you know? Like, cycles is kind of like a different render engine. So it's, it's like doing like some realistic stuff, so it does a lot of calculations for you. While Eevee is more like a game engine where you have to fake a lot of effects and stuff. So, um, I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you. All right, so I'm getting this line down here that I wanted. Uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to make it not appear on the diffuse. It'll only appear, or maybe only appear on the, the, the specular. Can we make this brighter? Maybe that's not good. I don't know. Maybe we'll bring it back. I wish I could make one of the lights not have bloom. I would like this one not to have bloom specifically. All right, we will we will actually make it all the way through here. We will make this weaker, divide by 5, divide by 2, pretty cool, okay, okay, so we got two window lights going, uh, we got the sun, which gives us the, the big light rays here. kind of like an overall light here can I make this overall light let's see Let's see where this light is at. This light's over here. And then I'll make it brighter. So it's darker back there. We'll times it by four. Uh, too bright. Divide by two. Divide by two. Or maybe we should just take it off. We'll take off shadows. Five divided by two divided by two times two. All right, divide by two, but times one point five. There we go. All right, we're just trying to get it relatively close here. Okay, so we got the back that's dark, kind of fades. We will. Fake that we get the shadow that's going on here. We can move still Zion a little further here, so it goes right into the shadow. That's where they're at. Good stuff. The lights looking looking pretty cool. All right, let's see if we can now do some fake. We're gonna do some some we're gonna do some fake stuff here. <laughs> We're going to fake these light rays. Uh, so this is going to be probably the most complicated part of this whole thing. Now that we have set up the room and the lights. To look, I don't know, relatively close. There's a couple of things I want to fix though. The, like this light up here, like what is that? You know, is that like the sun? Let's see if it's the sun. It is the sun. It looks kind of cool in the dark without the sun actually where there's just two lights going in that's not bad so for the sun let's see if we could fix it by either doing the angle let's see let's fix the angle here definitely not the angle 
we can set it so it only affects a specular or only affects yeah it... that's another way okay and then we can also rotate this guy right there it is that's how we'll get rid of it we'll just rotate it slightly down there we go I think it's looking it's looking it's looking it's pretty decent guys it's looking pretty it's getting there Okay, so let's make these light rays. We got the blooms and all the stuff. We got the lights. We got everything looking pretty decent, man. I'm pretty happy. With no materials. No materials are being used. This is this is good stuff. And then we'll add in the materials at the end, and that'll be the polish and stuff. But let's make these light rays. So these light rays uh, are going to be actual objects. And the objects I'm going to do, they're going to come from this window, right? So I'm going to just make make the selection. All right, and oops, I did that wrong. I'm gonna do Alt E, extrude edges on the. Z okay, let's do this again. E, Y Y. There it is. So here's our our light rays. We're gonna make them go all the way through. It doesn't look like light rays, but they will. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to face mode. We're going to select all of that. We will do P. So that's a separate. We're going to separate by selection. Uh, and then we got our blocks here. Our block. We're going to call it light rays. Lights. Rays. Um, and then we're going to call this left wall. Just so we know what it is. Uh, that's we'll do you know ground and we'll also call it right just so we know what that is uh, and then what is this plane back wall back wall okay let's make these light rays so here's our thing it's rotated we're gonna isolate it and we're gonna go into rendered mode and we're gonna check these these guys out Okay, so we're going to add a material on this guy. We'll call it light rays. Light rays. So first thing we want to do is add an emission shader. Boom, they're white. Next thing we want to do is we want to add in a gradient so we see which way they're going. So let's add a texture. Put a gradient. Stick it in. On the gradient texture, make sure to hit it. Click on it. Hit Control T. And you can see that the gradient is going from the back front to or the front to the back. We want it to go from left to right. So that's how we're going to rotate it on one of these axes. There it is. We're going to rotate this on the negative 90. Uh, and then we're going to move uh, on the X. And you can see our gradient goes from light to dark. And that's kind of what we want right there you can see it uh, in between this we're going to add in a color ramp uh, and we're going to soften this up by putting it the back front to the front back <laughs> exactly we'll, add, we'll put B spline here uh, and then this is how we'll uh, we'll adjust the this this transparency here you know soften it up a little bit there we go next what we want to do is we want to add in a transparent shader so we will add in transparent we will put in a mixed shader so let's put in the mix shader we are going to combine both of these and now we're going to take off the emissions and we're going to put this on the factor of the mix shader put it in there grab it in nothing really happens that's because we have to set up a setting in your materials for Eevee specifically to be blend mode uh, what is this called blend opaque uh, so there's a couple things we have to do show, show fact based coloring. also we're gonna take off this array just for now we don't need to see it all right let's go back to the material and realize that we cannot see 
the first one. I guess the array needs to be there for the third, I think. Let's see. Damn, it's like way out there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take it off. We're just going to move this guy until we see him on the y-axis. There it is. Right there. Okay. So we got like this white streak going on. Looks lame. Um, uh, it's also in reverse. <laughs> so I did this wrong. So this black one should be white. And this white one should be black. There it is. Now we got something something more akin to what we want. There's a there's a little bit of light going through there. All right, all right, we're doing good. We're doing good. So the next thing we want to do is click on this guy and make sure that show fact base. Show back face is clicked off. Let's see, back face culling. All right, so basically all that's off for shadow mode, hit none. We don't want it to produce a shadow. All right, we're getting closer here to faking this malarkey. Uh, we can see that it's like lines and stuff. You know, that's cool and all. So let's make those lines. And to make those lines, Hold on, I'm, I'm still adjusting this. There you go. We want it to like barely, because it looks like it doesn't even cross the main subject here. So that's what, we'll, what I'm setting up right now. So we're just do it holding shift where it barely crosses the main subject there. Okay. So now we have a gradient going on, looking great. Uh, the next thing we need to do is we can mix this gradient texture with another one. So we're gonna duplicate this whole thing. Uh, and we're gonna add in a mix shader, or sorry, mix RGB right there. We will put in these two colors. We will uh, mix them, maybe multiply. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out from there. Uh, and instead of a gradient, let's do a something like uh, like a rowing texture, and we're just gonna play with this. Let's see. See that it looks lame. You can see this is it's a weird texture going on. We're gonna set this to like this, so it turns into squares. Uh, and then we're going to hit the scale and then stretch these out. It may this may not be the way we do it. <laughs> we may we may change this. I don't think it looks that great, but this is basically what we're gonna be doing. We're just stretching out some textures here. We're probably gonna use like a musgrave texture instead. Yeah, so let's change this into a Musgrave texture. Musgrave. There it is. That's much better. It looks lame because it's white right now, but we'll fix that. Put in the details all the way up. Maybe the dimensions up. Uh, you see we're just stretching it on the x-axis. So we're just going to mess with the Z and the X. Z kind of adds a little more. There we go. And then, so let's try multiply. Let's try add. Well, add is like ridiculous. All right, let's try overlay. Overlay is kind of nice. All right, and then for the emissions, we can just make it a little stronger. Uh, and then f we'll just copy the same light that's coming from the window, which is the color, I should say. And that's what we'll do here, this this light color. 
We may make it a little, a little less saturated. Uh, uh, let's go back to multiply or darken. Darken maybe. I thought screen. All right, we'll do screen. I think screen's the one that I need to do. All right, now we're gonna affect the. Uh, Uh, some things we're gonna fix here is you can see that the bottom kind of squishes here and you can see it So we're just gonna erase the bottom face And I guess just for good measure the the top face here Okay, so there we go uh, Now let's keep messing with the sizing here Until this makes sense, maybe do some different type of uh, uh, texture here. You know, there's a couple things here. It looks like this is kind of like weirdly spreading out. So let's see if grabbing the edges here and we scale it on the Z. That does anything for us. All right, let's instead of putting generated, let's do UVs, uh, and then we're gonna. I'm just gonna hit U unwrap. Right now, I'm just playing around to see what what looks best. So that's what that's what we're fixing here. All right, let's go to object. Let's reset this. Let's reset this. I think I'm going way too hard here. I still don't think it looks that great. So let's keep fixing here. This is all doing this stuff is. It's just a bunch of tweaking. Figuring out what works here. <sighs> once this is like, once you make something like this, it's so much better just to save it and never have to do it again. Because it's like a hassle. <laughs> to say the least. I want these to look kind of stretched, so unfortunately, since it's being you mapped to an object, I don't think it works. So let me just show you how to do a simple deform. Does it bend? No, no, it doesn't. Keep we'll keep going. Think about a. I'm gonna I'm gonna move on soon. 
I'm on a time limit here. Excuse me. All right, I guess it's definitely multiply. <laughs> no, it's definitely screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this back. Oh, so there's only one face now. So let's do a face like that. Screen looks good. I think so as well. I think so as well. What's weird is I can't see. There it is. Constant offset. All right. A couple things I want to see about here in the render settings. I wonder if there's a, or is it in the material settings? There's something to put the quality of this. Uh, how does like this? Not the subsurface scattering. Indirect lighting, no. All right, let's choose standard. All right, so there's a couple of things I want to fix though from this. So let's let me change this to linear. There it is. That's what I was missing. Sometimes it's like the tiny little setting. Okay, so what I want is I want some stretching to happen. So I'm going to put this to UV and we're going to make this work. We're going to make this work. So let's rotate some of this stuff here. Let's put this to zero. Right, because what I want is I want some stretching here. So let's see. All right, let me put in a subdivision we'll do simple I think that should help it okay so we should do this on the other end there we go so see where we have the stretchy lines that are happening I wonder if I just cut this in half. We'll subdivide. 
All right, there it is. That, that should look a little better. All right, we're also gonna set the origin to this point here. Set origin to 3D cursor so that I can shrink this, bring this down on the Y. But the fade's not working now, so we're going to fix that fade. Oh, it's just setting the, the texture so it's it stretches but I still have an issue here that I need to fix so trying to fix it now which is like the fading part yeah this whole this whole fade let's set this to linear Yeah, I hate this like harsh line. This is what I'm trying to fix right now. <laughs> the freaking harsh line there. Add more levels in your color map, maybe. Uh, no, unfortunately, no. I, I don't think it's gonna be that easy. Yeah, it's not gonna be that easy. Let's see if it's because we need to set this to UVs as well. Set this to zero. Let's invert this. All right, let's put this to be spline. Okay, this is a little better. But there's a couple things we need to fix here. This does have the fade a little bit that I want. Slightly. It's a little a little much. Let's put the scale down. Alright, let's this may end up being a little bit complicated. So we're going to get a vector we're going to convert it no we're going to do a vector math and we're going to add in a texture wave texture we're going to add in that wave texture onto the gradient map into the vector let's see if this is does anything that i want here we're going to do this on the y that's not the way i want it the z there it is Uh, and instead of bands, we'll do rings. Copy this, put this here. All right, instead of rings, we'll do bands again. Uh, why? Alright, we're gonna try and crank this up a little bit. Oh man, I don't know. feel like I'm floundering here, so... We're just gonna get the next best thing and move forward. Just so we don't spend a sh crap ton of time here.
Alright, so instead of waves, we're going to do a Musgrave texture. Alright, this is getting closer to what I need. But not quite. Okay, let's put a color ramp on this Musgrave texture. We're getting closer. Let's hope we can get it here. Evelyn, hello, good to see ya. Glad you're here. Alright. There we go. We'll shrink this end a little more. Same thing here. Okay. We're going to have to probably move forward. Alright. Let me dissolve these edges real quick. There it is. All right. <laughs> Abby, good to see ya. Look at you guys. Oh, all right, I think we're we're getting close. I think this may be too bright, and then maybe we'll fix a little bit of this. This may be a little too bright there, and then we're gonna fix some of this here. There we go. All right, guys. I think we're going to have to move forward. I don't think it looks perfect. These are light rays. Especially since these are, like, thicker. Can we make these thicker? Let's do one last thing. Let's see if we can make them thicker. If not, we're going to have to move forward and cry about it later. And be like, we could have done better. It could have been better. see 
All right, maybe this this can work. We're really faking it here. Oh man, we're we're moving. We're we're getting there. This is looking decent. Just wish I had a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, I think I got it here. We're going to keep this one <laughs> and move forward. We spend too much time on this. As I continue to work on it, it's <laughs> it continues to. All right. Oh my God, no! Please, bring it back. It sucks when you have something good and then you like mess two settings and it's over. It's so annoying, dude. Oh my God, I ruined it. Okay, there it is. Save. We'll save it there. We'll leave it. We will leave it. Oh, there it is. It's the dimension. Okay, fine. Right. And then we'll go to this edit mode. We'll move this. Maybe move the whole thing down. And actually bring the dimension a little off. Okay. We're faking the light race. It's there. It's fine. We're good. We're no longer touching it. One more touch. Hold on. One more. One more. One more. Yes, there. Woo! All right. That took forever. See, this is like that small stuff that takes forever. All right, so we'll call those light rays. We'll save. It looks fine. Looks decent. All right, and the next thing we should do... Uh is uh, let's see if we can add in some some fake smoke or maybe use some actual volume smoke hmm maybe that would be cool all right, let's uh, let's let's add in some fake volume smoke. So I'm gonna save. I'm also gonna just save a copy of it. We'll call it like V zero, just so we can always go back to this. There we go. I made some clouds a hell of a long time ago. So let's see if uh, I could just put in those clouds in here. Here they are. I think it's V two. Let's hope this is it. It may not be it though. Okay, so this may be it. The 
clouds are behind character over here so we'll, we'll bring it up forward and the clipping it's clipping you know what I mean my volume is clipping so I think I have to set up some volumetrics here so my clipping is gonna stat at one two three one thousand we can see it now and we'll do two pixels maybe two thousand um, and we're gonna set up light specific for this volume I got in here so let's I can't see it I can't see it where's my volume oh it's back there okay so let me see it this is my volume if we go to rendered mode you can see it doesn't look like anything we're gonna bring it forward uh, we're gonna unisolate it again can't really tell where it is in this scene you know what should I do I should just put some back face culling on this just so I can see through the walls there we go okay great we'll do all transformations uh, I'm going to make a light right in the center of this and make it super bright. Point light. Still can't see it. Hold on. Where is this light? Oh, it's down here for some reason. I did it wrong. So let's select our, our cloud. Let's name it cloud. Uh, cursor T selected uh, and then put a light and then put a light okay so we got this point light go to it oh my goodness it's still there that's not where I want it that's fine that's fine we will take off the fuse and specular and we'll set this to a hell of a big number like 100,000 there it is you can see the cloud now for some reason because of the light super bright we're getting close to what we're trying to do here alright now let's fix What's going on here? Uh, we're going to take off this keyframes, clear keyframes. Uh, and let's make this bigger overall. Let's see if we can get some decent sized clouds here. Uh, where's our point light? Where's the point light we just put in? Here it is. We're going to call this cloud light cloud light because it's only affecting the cloud and we're going to put both of these guys in a collection called clouds beautiful all right so this cloud light is here doing its thing you can see we can move it around and but we're going to give the this light the same color as every other light so control copy over that we'll go to this cloud light way to hit, hit it here We'll actually probably desaturate it just a little bit so it's less uh, instead of a oh my god we're going to make it cast shadow and we're going to make sure volumetric shadow is here that's good we're all set blah 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 We're looking for a, a look here. All right, whatever. We're going to put the cloud light back to a point light. Let's do point light. Let's do it again. 100,000. There it is. We're getting the a bit of a cloud thing going on here, which is kind of cool. Uh, unfortunately it's like stretched so there's like no it's 
No fixing that, huh? Let's also put this one as a back face culling. So we could see through it. There you go. Also, let's make everything unselectable. I hate accidentally selecting these. So let's make that wall unselectable. Let's make the light rays unselectable. Let's make the ground unselectable and the back wall unselectable. Now I can work on and click on this. Okay. All right, we got a nice cube going. Let's make it smaller. Okay, let's get this cloud light brighter or closer. Where is it though? There it is. It's in the wall. Let's bring it right up in front where we can see it. You can see the clouds are starting to appear. Let's see if we can get something close. It's pink because of the, the texture that it has, but we're gonna we're gonna change that, so. Let's make this light twice as bright, so times two. We'll times it again, times two. It's only affecting volume, which is great. All right, and now let's fix some of this texture stuff. So it looks closer to what we want it to look like. All right, I assume the color is because of this, so we're gonna change the color to a desaturated color or let's just make it white there we go and this may not be the solution guys but I'm doing it we'll make the, the clouds a little a little thicker there. All right. Uh, let's just mess with settings. I barely know what I'm doing here. I like this because it's kind of like a clear, it's a little bit more clear. Uh, we're going to do shadows. We're going to bring this up. Maybe do an area light. If this light wasn't on, we can't see the clouds, right? Okay, good. go hey Wes how long did it take for you to really grasp this type of artwork Jace Mr. Jay Santana good to see ya uh, so I've been working uh, I, I've been doing VFX for like 10 years uh, I did After Effects for like 3-4 years I've been doing Blender for like 5 years now uh, you know it, uh, it just takes uh it's an interesting question to ask because like everybody's um learns a little bit different uh but to be able to do the stream you know this like off the cuff and be able to understand a lot of blender stuff i did a lot of reading a lot of uh tutorials and stuff so i would say like a a year but you could be making stuff like in a matter of like a, a week you know what you need to do is the best way to learn is not to get into the technical stuff uh, and just look up tutorials of cool looking stuff 
and then follow the tutorial and then after you follow the tutorial you're gonna learn you're gonna you're gonna figure out like what like why why is this why what is this doing and what is that doing and why does this do this and why does this do that so the best way to learn is through projects don't sit there and read a manual um, just uh, do tutorials there's plenty out there blender guru the, the 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 granddaddy of blender tutorials um, uh, and there's plenty of blender tutorials just just follow a tutorial go through do it once while watching it and then do it a second time without watching it uh, and just change different settings and stuff and then anytime you hit like a roadblock where it's like really frustrating just take a break take a step back uh, and, and, and come back to it don't let it uh, you know turn you off and stuff like that so so years Jace but you could do it in a week if you want <laughs> you just have to follow some tutorials because yeah there's a lot going on here I learned uh, there's like like 10 different things that I've learned in 10 20 different projects all happening right here like knowing how to fake lights and stuff like that and then you know uh, understanding the renders that you have there's a lot going on here so I do make it look a little bit um, seamless or easy but uh, you know it's little steps GI with your hallway of light and shadows try Thank you for streaming. Bye's now. Space Cookie, take care. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping and hanging out. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, so where's this light? Light's a little too bright, right? Should we make it darker? I hate that it doesn't update immediately. This is like lame. Okay. What's happening? Divided by two. Divided by two. We're getting closer. Divide by two. There we go. That's a little closer. Let's bring in the light. Where's the light? I can't even see it. All right. So let's bring the light here. Okay, cool. And then it's behind the object, so let's move this behind. Uh, and uh, probably let's make it big, right? So let's make this bigger. And we'll bring this up. Oh, man, but my cloud's like a circle. So let's see if I can do something like this. I should have I should have did this to begin with. I should have set up where the the the, the smoke is at. Cause now I gotta re redo this light. Oh my god. Grab Y. There we go. I hate that it's stretched. Let's unstretch this. But anybody watching, yeah, definitely uh, Blender's free, man. Blender's free. That's the best thing about this stuff. Oh my god, I can't see what I'm doing. What is happening? S scale down. There we go. Okay, we're getting closer. S cursor to selected. Set origin to 3D cursor. We'll do it from active element. Why isn't my 3D cursor moving, man? Oh, that's why. So, gotta go to edit mode. Oh my goodness, all the buttons I'm pressing. Go to edit mode, cursor to selected, set origin. There we go. Okay, we're getting there. We'll scale this up. We'll move the light back. Where's the light? The light's there. Bring this down. There we go. We're getting closer. It should probably be much bigger. A little to the right. 
There it is. Okay. Okay. We are getting closer. Closer and closer we get. Okay, so this light now can probably be a color, right? We can change it. There we go. We'll just color pick one of these colors. We'll bring up the vibrance, saturation. There we go. Maybe take out the saturation a little bit more. Bring the vibrance all the way up. All right, let's mess more with the shader. Okay, we got the shader going. Nope, 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 nope. That's uh, the color ramp. No, no, no. The texture, the texture, that's what it is. There it is. This adds a little bit more detail to our thing here. Too much detail. How about the other one? There it is. That's that small little detail I'm looking for. Uh, I wonder if I could cut this in half, maybe up to here, and then extrude this out. Okay, so maybe that's a little too far. All right, so extrude this in half. And then extrude, let's see. Oh, I see what's happening, the light. But I don't, it goes all the way out. Okay, so let's do it again. Don't extrude it in half. We're gonna extrude it like way far. Or not extrude it, but cut it. We'll cut it there and we'll move it forward. Let's see. Oh my God, it is still not working the way that I'm expecting it to. This is not what I expect. All right, let's do a, the smallest sliver. Let's do it like right there. <laughs> this is such a janky way of doing this. Huh, interesting. Let me figure out. Hmm, I guess I had, it just has to do with the overall volume. So it really doesn't matter. Ah, it's close enough. It, wh what are we at? Two hours? Okay, we're at two hours. We're getting pretty close to it. I got the clouds that I need or wanted. Uh, I want it to be darker in the background and stuff, so we'll probably end up setting that up soon. Okay, so we got clouds. We got some fake light rays going on in EV. Um, we could start. Uh, let's see what we could. What, what can we start doing? Maybe I will duplicate this cloud. So we'll, we'll make sure to name this dot zero zero zero. So if we duplicate it. Let's do Alt D. Would that work? Alt D, and we'll bring this out here. So we'll reset this up. All right. We'll set this up over here. Okay, we're gonna duplicate this light. And we're going to bring it back out here. There we go. I think we're doing it. Ah, there we go. We got some clouds going. Or some smoke, I should say, right? There it is. And we're filling out the edge there to add some ambiance. Right? There we go. And then we got our second light, right? Where's our second light? That's our first light. This is our second light. Okay. There we go. Okay. <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost there, ladies and gents. Doing all the basic ass stuff. Okay. We got some cloudies. We got some clouds. We got some fake light rays. We got some bloom. We got some monkey floating in the distance. We'll fix that. We'll not fix it. Nothing to fix. We'll add in something more interesting though. Uh, but I do want the background. I wish it could go a little darker. So let's do, let's see what we can do. Let's. Let's see if we can add 
kind of like an atmosphere, like a fog thing going on here. Because right now, I got nothing going on, right? Yay, that's awesome. Let's see if I put this here. <laughs> so, if you add in my colors, the colors look good, but we'll have to change the colors for the, um, you know, definitely looks a little bit more interesting, but the colors for the lights would have to change, right? So, like, I'm not going to do this. I'm just t having some fun right now. But if we set this up like this, you know, that's what it would, that's what it would look like some stuff like that or what if we added r this color instead you know that's fun stuff that's fun stuff huh we're having fun here uh volumetric cloud blah 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 okay and then but cool this still works even when i change the colors up add in some lights i like it i like it i like it a lot i like it uh, but we're not going to do that, right? Let's go back. Just for a second. We're going to keep it like this for a second. Probably looks nicer with the colors. I like it with the colors, I will admit. But there's still some... Before we get into all that fun polishing stuff, we still got to figure out some other issues, which is the a ambience. Yo, Grease Monkey, I should go. Have a good day. Thanks. Mo, take care. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sending me this picture, which basically sparked up this whole live stream. It was a, it's a neat picture. It's a neat, it's a neato picture -o. Okay. We got clouds. Okay, ambience, right? So let's set up some ambience here. Let's set a shader. We'll do, uh, we'll do a principal volume. It's going to look weird. It's going to look like nothing. It's going to look like nothing. Uh, what I'm going to do is a couple things here. Let's do... Um, there's nothing happening. You know what I mean? There's nothing happening out here. So let's do a texture. We're going to do a, a Musgrave texture. Uh, we'll put that into the density. Uh, and it just looks like it's filled. Just filled with smoke. We'll put a color ramp, which will remap everything for us here. And we will start figuring out <laughs> what the right ambience is here all right there we go uh, we're gonna hit control T so we can do that uh, and then make sure that our settings for volume yeah we're set here 64 samples blah 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 light clamping good stuff okay so We're just gonna be messing with some settings here until until it makes sense. <laughs> Look at this; it just looks like smoke in here. Oh my god, Ooh, I can't see stuff. All right, we're gonna take off the emissions. Oh no, we're gonna bring down the emissions. That's what I was gonna say. About no emissions. Never mind. Never mind. Ugh. There's a lot going on here. Let's do a map. Let's do a remap here. We're gonna map range, and we're gonna we're gonna just mess with some of these settings here. Okay, so this is not acting the way that I think it should be acting. So we're gonna fix some stuff here. Let's fix some stuff. Okay, so what we need to do is that what I want is I want it to be in. I want it to. I want there to be. I want there to be a gradient fade into the darkness of the background, uh, and we could do that by using a volume scatter, but making it. Uh, adjust to a gradient we could I definitely do this in post like after a render like in the compositor but I don't like doing stuff in the compositor uh, what I like what I'm getting here what I'm what I'm talking about here guys what I'm talking about is 
this turns into like this like white scatter light that's what I want I want some of this white how this turns into like a gray color if you can tell the difference there uh, while here it's pretty crisp it's crispy uh, we could definitely go into the volumetric the shadows and we could put soft shadows see oh soft shadows looks kind of nice honestly maybe we'll do soft shadows anyway not the point the point is I want I want more of an ambience so let's fake an ambience with the volume let's let's take a deep breath I'm all hopped up on coffee right now let's take a deep breath and let's make that happen so okay let's do it all right so let's do it with let's do it with a cube all right so here we go so what we're gonna do we're going to make a cube we're gonna isolate it so we can see it here we're gonna go into rendered mode or not rendered mode but yeah we're just gonna isolate it let's put in a light here just so we can see this thing here we go boom it's gonna ruin the picture over there but we're gonna set up the lights there we go uh, and then we're gonna add in on a material to this we'll call this we're gonna call this gradient for now just so I know what it is it is a gradient there we're gonna set the blend mode to alpha blend uh, no uh, shadow mode uh, and then we're gonna go into the object Go to principal shader, go to the shaders, do a principal volume, and let's just start figuring out what we can do here. You can obviously can't tell what's happening, so let me get this point light to be brighter. Obviously, the <laughs> our main image is not looking hot, but it's because we're working on this cube right here. Uh, this is what we care about. Uh, we're going to add in a gradient texture. We will fix all of this at the end, guys. Gradient texture. We're going to hit Control T. Got to add in a color ramp. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, and this is not acting the way I want it to, so I have to make it bigger. So let me do that. All right, there's our gradient, but our light is not doing so hot. So let's make it a point light and let's make it 100,000. You see. It's in there. Yeah, we're an awful blend. Good. Okay. Yeah, this is looking like a mess, guys. I'm sorry. I just need to make this fake gradient here. This fake fog. Oh, maybe I should just do it in post. How many hours am I in? Two hours and 19. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that just to save time and just cheat it even more. Uh, I was doing this wrong. I put that in color. It should have been in density. There we go. We're doing better now. Okay. We're just going to make this red just so I can see this this thing. Uh, let's stretch this out. Uh, and let's bring this light back here. Let's make it a sun again. Super bright, right? There we go. We're seeing the fog a little better. Let's rotate it. Okay, we're getting there. Uh, let's do 50 instead. All right. And this should be, it should fade out into the distance. That's what we're going to be doing. 
So right now, see how it fades from left to right of the cube? Let's look at it from above. You see how I'm like fading it out here? Okay, so this should be negative 90. We're gonna move this back, there it is. All right. Uh, we're gonna set this to B spline. It's intense. You guys, it's really ugly right now, but I promise it, it's gonna it's gonna pay off. We're gonna put the factor here. Um, and let's map. These numbers are like so super tiny. Like we have to like remap everything. Let's set it back to linear here. Uh, we have to remap this. Oh, that's right. So what we should do is we should uh, do a separate. Separate X, Y, Z. We'll do it on, is it the X axis? It's not the Z axis. That's left to right. And then, yeah, so it's definitely the X axis. There you go. That makes it simpler. All right, let's change this. All right, let's stretch this up here. All right, and let's stretch this to the right. I may not like this. This is the whole, when you make stuff, guys, when you're making stuff, you may spend a whole lot of time working on something and uh, it's not, doesn't look good. <laughs> you just gotta get over it. Just life. That's just life, you know? That's just life. You gotta work hard. Achieve what feels like nothing. Alright, where's our camera? I can't see our camera. We're almost there. Almost there. Okay, we're getting there. Woo! What a process, guys. It looks crazy from the outside, but in camera, I don't know. It looks all right. All right, let's mess with some more of these. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, this point light should only affect the volume. There it is. All right, I'm leaning towards this. Is, uh, I don't have enough time to make this look good. I can, but there's this is, this is adding in a lot of complexity that I think I want to skip. Alright, because if we change this now to, you know, decent color, and then we set this so it goes all the way to the top, right? Alright. Do a quick render here. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, you know, it has the atmosphere and all that stuff, but, like, I think it's going to take a long time to make that look good. So let's start over. Not start over, but... Let's go back here and figure out a solution for some of this ambience here. Let's think, let's think, let's think, let's think. We could do it in post. Let's see, let's see what it looks like in post. So we'll go to the compositor, we'll hit use nodes, you'll see that our render is here, right? Uh, there's a couple things I want to set up here. Uh, output viewer right oops we'll make sure it goes in there and we'll make sure that we can see this in our backdrop we'll make it smaller make it to the right there it is okay so we can see our render there let's do a fresh render okay great 
All right, there's our render. What we'll do is, what we'll do is, um, we have we need a Z path, a Z depth pass, right? So that just tells us how far. Um, it's called a miss path. We'll do both Z and and miss, right? That gives us a uh, how far something is from zero to one or white to black or black to white, right? So let's render this. Now with the Z path set, nothing's going to be different here. But now when we put in the depth paths here, we'll see that it's white. So what we'll need to do is we forgot to set up a setting here. So let's go to the camera. Uh, in the camera, you'll see that in the camera settings, you'll see that we'll have a mist pass here. You can see that this line is representation of like where the mist pass is going. So let's set up the mist pass forget where it is so bear with me I think it's under I think it's under these render settings right is the word missed here let's see miss, blah, 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 blah. no is it under render settings it's not is it under passes it it's not is it under here it's under world it's under the world setting so here's the world so here's our line this is where basically where our miss is going to start and end. so let's just have it start right from the camera and it's gonna and we want it to end behind uh susan the monkey it also looks like our camera's rotated oh no it's just it's just the angle so the mist is gonna end kind of like right behind maybe where this shadow ends here so we'll have a mist like that all right so that's gonna render out a miss pass now let's see what it looks like obviously nothing's gonna change there there's our miss pass see so everything in the front is a uh, dark and as it goes further it goes to white from zero to one black to white so we're going to use this uh and we're going to mix it in with some different colors let's do a mix rgb and i may be wrong on this but let's just let's figure it out mix uh, and we're going to mix mix our mix miss pass and our image pass uh, and we'll go we'll make sure that this is on our render results here okay uh not mix we'll do a clamp no uh we'll do maybe like a let's do color and what was it it was mix so the mix goes in the factor there it is okay there we go Miss goes in the factor, um, and that color will do multiply. And I'm surprised it doesn't auto update itself. Let's, so let's. Okay, we're getting closer. So we're gonna fake it in post here. Okay, we're gonna do this. We'll just do black. Or is it is death pass better? Okay, with the death pass, just so you can see, it's white. You have to like normalize it for some reason. So there it is, normalized. Ah, instead of normalizing, let's do like a let's just ma do a map a map range. Then we can set up our own settings here. Well, usually this works. Okay, here we go. Is my Z, does Z pass not work in Eevee? Do I have to normalize first? Let's normalize. Zero to one, zero to one, okay. Wow. We'll do mist. Screw this. No Z pass. I must be doing something wrong there. Okay.
Let's do a screen instead. There we go. Th this gives us a better ambience mist going. Wait, what happened here? Obviously a little too bright. This is what I was kind of talking about here. So if we look at, let's look at our reference. All right, cool. So if we look at our reference, you can see it's much more saturated, obviously. So we're going to fix that, but we're getting some of this ambience I'm talking about. It's just in the wrong area. Looks fun though, I must admit. Alright, let's do a color ramp in between the mists. So, are there color ramps in this color ramp? Oh, there is. go how many pa what type of passes can we get how much time do we have all right we got 30 minutes i'm going to finish this in 30 minutes we're just going to call it done and move on with our life because i can't do this forever uh let's see if i render out bloom if this helps me a bit so i'm going to render out see what this looks like all right so here's bloom let's see what that looks like Oh, that's interesting. Okay. 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 Let's see. Let's see something then. We're using passes, boys. All right. So we got our bloom pass. We got our image. It's nice scene. Spitfire. Good to see ya. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by. interesting what we can do here multiply it's definitely like a uh, uh, an ad type of situation is this the temple of Suzanne yes all hail the monkey all hail the monkey we're almost done all the I did all the complicated stuff first I did all the complicated stuff first. I'm so happy about that. All right, let's see if we can do some like a gamma on here. Okay, cool. So with the bloom, I can add in I can add in the thing I was talking about. Look at that. This is what I wanted. There it is. That's so neat. Look at the compositor go. Okay, we're done. We're, we're done with figuring out th that little aspect of it. Uh, let's see about the cloud light. Should I make it brighter? Let me go into the rendered view here. So if it's twice as bright. All right, how about three times as bright? Takes too, takes too much of the scene there. All right, how about the second light here? All right, our second light ain't doing crap. What, what's happening here? Hold on. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, maybe I should take off shadow. Where's our second light? I cannot see it. 
There it is. Oh, it's in a wall. That's why. There it is. There it is. So if we made this zero, you'll see that it turns dark, but well, maybe we'll times it by two. There we go. There we go. That's a little too bright. <laughs> Divided by th point three. I times it. Divided by point three. Loving the crisp look. Yes, me too. Me too. I appreciate it. Oh my god, where'd my light go? Oh, did I put it in the wall again? Okay. Okay. For some reason, the volumes take a time to update. I'm going to save it just to have it here. Okay. I think we got everything we need here. Um... For right now, we're just going to have the normal render before I do any post stuff. Let's go into the world settings and mess with some stuff and then do our final polishing in the next 20, 20, 30 minutes here. Uh, I do want to see a couple of things here. I want to see what it looks like. Some different colors here. <laughs> it makes the smoke look bad, though. Uh... Why does, oh man, what is happening with this light? I guess without shadows, it's how it's supposed to be. I don't know. I don't think so, though. Okay, so there's a couple things I want to do is let me, oh man, there's just something weird with the 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 rendering there. So we're going to put these clouds, we're going to call this the brown, the brown lights. We're going to duplicate these lights, duplicate collection, and we'll call this the fun lights. <laughs> fun lights. Uh, we'll deactivate the brown lights. And you see nothing changed. Oh, it's because this one's on. Okay, there we go. Uh, and we will make these some different colors. What if we like... What if we make these like blue? Let's just make this the same blue. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and if we put the first one without light, without shadows... Interesting, interesting. We got brown lights. Got these lights here. Looks pretty good. Uh, but it loses the ambience, right? It doesn't go dark. It doesn't go dark in the background, right? But I love the gradients that happen here. I think it ends up looking pretty, pretty decent. Maybe I should make this darker. Making this darker. Eh. Since we only have 20 minutes, let's just finish the final polish and uh, move on with our lives here. We'll take away the fun lights, put on these lights. Give it that ambience. For some reason, this light. You know, looking, looks good. Okay. And, uh. 
cool. So the my only issue here is these guys have no shadows. Is there an issue here with these shadows? Like, my guy over here don't have a shadow. What is it happening? All right, let's add in some fake peeps. And just get over it. They don't have shadows. They should. But we'll get over it. So I have Kid Ops, which is... Has some things I use from it. Let me actually deactivate Hard Ops. Uh, let's do kid ops here. Oopsies. We're activating kid ops. It's a paid. I think it's free. It, there's also like a free free add on to it too. Uh, let me add in something that I have here. Let's go to assets, kid ops. I think I could just hit that right. Fresh. Okay. There it is. All right, I got some peoples that I bought. They're like scientists or whatever. We'll add them. We'll add them. We'll add in. Uh, we'll add in uh, this dude. Do we add people again? Can I just is it the D key? Is it the Q key? What's the kid op shortcut? It is not shown here. Oh, it's on the shelf. Okay, so I guess we just do it from here. Don't want to add an insert. It's this, right? Yeah, we're in kid ops. Create, insert, convert, mesh, nope, remove, nope, 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 nope. Where is it? K pack. This is what I want. Let me go into this view here. No! Sorry guys, my blender crashed. So hopefully, this is why I hate add-ons. I don't hate add-ons, I'm just kidding. Add-ons are good. But they do cause me the most issues. They do cause me the most issues. Okay, so let's do this one more time. Disable hard ops. Let's do kid ops. File path. Add the right one. Kit ops. Accept. Refresh. Put in our people. Where's our people? I'm like totally blanking on this add-on. Like it's supposed to, there's supposed to be like a button here where I can just add this little guy here. That's what I want. That's what I, want my, I want this little guy. I want this little guy in here. And that, it's not edit, right? Okay, so there's a little guy. I want him. We 
we're just gonna add them manually. We're just gonna add them manually. All right. Add insert to the scene. Alt plus scroll wheel V snap. Alright, we're just gonna do the old fashioned way. Let's go back. Let's go here. We'll go to person and we'll just append them to the scene. So append assets. Uh, kid ops. Uh, this. Uh, we got all the people in here. Uh, let's just hope we pick a good one here. Let's see where this guy's at. Okay, fine. We got a scientist standing. Looking good. Alright, let's go into our scene, put this to rendered. Alright, let's put this guy here. Let's rotate him. And we'll replace this cube. There we go. Let's append another one. Append, we're just picking at random. 106 object there. But our other guy is over here. So we'll go here. Second little person here. Oops. Bring him over here. Boom. Okay. Got our little people here. Alright, and then the last one we need to fix or append is this guy. So we're going to append and we're going to add in another guy here. We'll just pick one at random. Or do these have a name? Oh, they do. I can figure out the name. Um, we will do this scientist. So 102. So append 102 object. There he is. And we'll bring this guy over here. All right. Crispy, crispy look. Okay, we got our people in. Despite me not using how to, me forgetting how to use this add-on. Let me just deactivate it. Uh, now let's figure out a couple, a couple more things here. A couple more things, cause, uh, uh, you know. Let's make our clouds not selectable. Don't want to select them anymore. I think those are pretty much set. Um, we'll do home. All right, I already have some materials here. Let's see if we could just slap on some materials. Now that most of this is set, let's see. I got these from, I bought these on the Unity store, the game engine Unity, Unity 3D. Uh, they have assets there and uh, this, particular guy has hand painted textures which is what I wanted I downloaded them or I bought them and then I downloaded them and then I had to like convert them all to work for blender and that took a long time I used scripting I used a lot of stuff it took a long time it took a long time man it was like hours and hours and hours a couple days because there's a lot of textures here and each texture has five different parts to it the color the specularity you know, the metal stuff so um you know it took some time it took some time so i'm gonna just peruse through here see if there's any i don't know interesting textures i mean i'd even use these 
I may just slap in some textures that I have before in the past. Like, like let's see, like this this material looks interesting. If we just drag it on there. <laughs> let's see if it destroys my scene. Oh, I can't even select it. I made it so it's unselectable. So let's select the, get these walls, ground right and left wall. All right. Now let's slap in a texture here. Let's slap in this one. Shaders are compiling. This looks stretched. So we're going to fix that. Select it all, we'll do an unwrap. Uh, let me isolate the lights and the wall. So what are we doing? Right. Oh. We'll do these lights and the wall. Okay, we'll isolate these. Okay, cool. So the texture's looking okay. Yeah, look at all this. It's like annoying as heck all right let's see if we can unisolate this let's see if we can even see some of this texture here we're gonna go into I don't know what what are these drivers on here for? What did I do? I must have messed this up. What driver is this? Oh, hold on. Edit driver. Blah blah blah. Metallic. I don't know. I don't know what these drivers are here for. We're gonna delete them. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fix this. Let's do this normal map. Delete this driver as well. What the heck is happening? All right, there it is. We're getting some wall texture in now. So what's not good about this is the scale and obviously some other <laughs> issues that we will fix. So we will take the scale and we will make it a different scale. There it is. All right, let's see if we do a shade smooth here. Or actually we should get this line. Uh, and we're going to bevel it just a little bit, just so. Just a bev bevel it a tiny bit. Let's see. Just so it catches light. There we go. So it doesn't look like a super sharp edge. Hold on. We'll hit shade smooth. I don't like it, but we'll have to keep moving because it doesn't matter. We're almost done. Uh, let's try some different materials on here. Let's try. Let's try something silly like this brick texture. Uh, yeah, not good, right? I don't like it, at least. I'm going to take off all this stuff. Global rotation, mosaic noise. Alright. 
we may just put just some standard like cement texture on here maybe these hand painted textures are a little too much they, they're they're breaking up my shapes way too much it has to be subtle so let's just do something super subtle all right we're gonna build it from scratch what do i have we're almost at three hours all right we could do this in 10 minutes easy we're just gonna put a simple shader on here let's take away this material uh and let's build it from scratch we're gonna go here we're gonna click on our our right wall here uh and we're gonna make a new material and call it ground right this is our material very good uh let me take away this we don't need to look at this anymore we need to we need to finish this we need to finish this i don't like my streams getting too long here all right we're gonna make this nice and big and we're gonna get our header there we go there we go here we go here we go focus focus okay so let's add in uh some some stuff here so what we're gonna do is we're adding a texture and it will be a musgrave texture let's put it on to the color map here we'll hit control t uh, and we'll make sure to put the UV since we did the UVs already. It's calculating. You can't really tell a difference here, but you can tell once I put it like this, right? Ugly, ugly, ugly. Am I right? So we're going to make sure. I just did that to see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, Converter. We're going to add a normal map to it. The normal map kind of like fakes depth to it, right? So we'll go into Evelyn. Catch you in the next one. Thanks, Evelyn, for being here today. Uh, let's go into vector bump beautiful put that into the normal uh, and we'll put this into the the height all right so let's do that height you won't be able to tell a difference we'll take it off the color now there it is you can kind of see it we are gonna make it really slight uh, and we're gonna make it much bigger there it is just so it has some variation in color it's very subtle it doesn't doesn't have to be big let's do multi-fractal here all right there we go so the wall has some texture there okay let's also figure out another texture to add on top of it don't just slap one texture slap two so let's do a veroni for right now we'll do distance we'll put that into the height let's just see what that looks like real quick ah, it doesn't look like anything okay there it is looks kind of like sand at this point you know which is fine we're gonna duplicate this we're gonna make sure it doesn't look stretched there it is. Anyway, it looks like sand. Kind of like it. Kind of don't. Uh, but this is how we're going to break stuff up. We're going to do a color ramp so we can control how, how sharp these are. Uh, let's do generated. Is generated make it? Okay, so the issue here is that our... Uh, our dimensions aren't applied so let's do is it shift a mm, 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 mm. control a yeah control a apply all transformations we will select all we will unwrap how about cube unwrap there we go okay let's see it now all right maybe maybe not cube unwrap just normal unwrap Really? This is this is terrible. It's, it's it's stretched. I don't like that. So I'm going to look at it from the right and I'm gonna do unwrap from projection. Project from view. Let's see what that looks like. We're still doing it. Hold on. See the color here. 
Alright, I'm just doing this so we can see the why it's stretched out. It shouldn't be stretched out, man. Why is this stretched out? I'm going to select these two here. Let's un just unwrap that. Really? Cube unwrap? Nope. Project from you? Nope. Oh, here we go. Project from you. Cube unwrap. Unwrap. Man, there's something happening here. I am. This is supposed to look more like uh, squares. Not like this whole stretch zebra print here. Even though it looks pretty red. Okay. Uh, texture? What is happening? Okay. We're just coming after issue after issue. It's not being nice. unfortunate let me look at the un the UVs here Oh my goodness, that is the issue. The color ramp is in the wrong spot. It's something as small as that. Oh my god, how annoying, man. Jesus. What a what a dumb issue. There we go. Okay. I had the color ramp in the wrong part. I had it going into the vector, thusly it was ruining the positioning of the the texture. Blah, 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 blah. It was a mistake, and that crap happens all the time. Okay, now this can start looking decent. Okay, now let's put this back into the height. Now let's put this back into the thing. Now let's do this. Now let's look at it unisolated. Now let's go into the camera mode. Now let's go into here. And now we can start seeing something here that looks like we can have some texture on the wall, and it'd be pretty good. So let's do... Um, we'll do the same thing here. We'll duplicate this. Put this here. There we go. We're just going to add in a small, we're going to make it really small super small like 4,000 there it is we'll make the strength a lot less this is just to break up the the form here there it is give it some texture there we're gonna add in another material for the ground this is called ground right we'll hit ground right we will duplicate it. Uh, we'll call this floor uh, and we'll go into edit mode. We will select the floor. We will assign it. Okay. Now we can change this. So it's something different. Very subtle. Uh, 
Okay, we're getting there. Let's change this texture. Here. Okay. We're getting there. We're just adding in some small texture here. Super small. Three, one, two, three. There we go. It doesn't have to be that color. Let's get some lines here to just to add some like separation here. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna get the textures. We'll do the wave, and we'll make sure to add these together. There we go. Let's see what that looks like. All right, beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna make the scale much bigger. We'll add in a color ramp. Instead of mix, we'll do a add. Where is that? Add, and then we'll do a converter. We'll put the color ramp. Flip these, make these real thin. There we go. Uh, let's just make both of these white. Copy, paste. So this can be just slightly, this can be slightly smaller. There it is, super, super light. There it is. We'll put this to constant. There we go. We're just adding some subtle texture on here. Just to, to guide the eyes. like some sort of tiles or whatever if we really wanted to what we can do is um, we can add two of these together before we so we can make like a crisscross pattern let's see if it looks good we won't know until we try so let's put this on the Y axis now Oops, why? There it is. So we got kind of like a, a tile thing going on. Okay, instead of uh, add, we're going to do clamp and we're also going to do multiply instead of add. This is just like some subtle details. I still like the the blocking here. Okay. All right. Just adding this slight very slight detail to this. Mm, maybe a little too much detail. As always, we'll do the rough down. We'll put the distortion down. Ah, no distortion. There we go. See how 
big this shaders can go, huh? So we'll accept this and this. We'll go here. We got that, blah, blah, blah. Those added together, yada, yada, blah, 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 blah. That goes into the normal map, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and now let's add some just color shifting onto the ground. Uh, and that will be done right here with an add. Uh, we'll add in one more texture. A Musgrave texture. Make sure that's put in there. Put it in here. Boom, boom, boom. We'll add in the texture there. We'll add in this guy here. And then we'll add this guy here. All right. And then we can vary up the coloring on the, the ground a bit here. Can't tell what's happening. So we're going to make one dark. You're going to see the spots there. There it is. We'll flip them. It's going to be very subtle. There it is. You can kind of see it there. We'll hit clamp. Super subtle stuff, but it kind of varies it up a little bit. Let's see if you can see it there. Okay. Anyway, super subtle. Let's. I forgot one last thing. Let's make the floor specular and reflective. Is there a screens place reflections here? Screens place reflections. Let's make sure we have some other settings on here. Uh, like screens place reflections. There we go. Love it. So we got some screen space reflections. Let's do some some stuff here. All right. I'm just adding some reflections to the ground. Let me save before this kind of feels like it's crashing sometimes. <laughs> oh my god, is it crashing? Okay. Okay, we're almost there. Uh, we just got to fix some stuff here. So the variation on this ground here, I like it, and it's very shiny, <laughs> but it's a little much, too strong. It's all about subtlety. So instead of mixing in, the strong thing here is uh, a couple things here. So let's go into our... But yeah, so what's happening is one of the textures is mixing, which is this guy right here. Let's make it kind of huge here. Actually, you know what? We may just skip out on that texture. Let's just do that. go there 
There we go. Okay, so the ground's a little better. Got some some reflections on here. Catching the light. Okay. There's one thing I another thing I want to add is uh, a little bit of ambient occlusion. Do I have that on? I don't. Uh, I think I have to add it in the shader. I think. Do I? Okay, let me see if uh, adding it in the shader is correct. So let me go into ambient occlusion. So we're going to do input ambient occlusion and we are going to do a mix shader. We're going to add in the mix shader. We're going to put in the ambient occlusion and see what this looks like. It's usually seen in the corners. It's loading right now. Let's see. That is hella bright. So. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add any emission shaders so we can control the color of what it's supposed to be, but we're going to put this guy up here, put this guy up here, see what this looks like. We're going to make it a red color just so we can see it. Put AO here. This is what I wanted. Uh, you can see that it's, it's kind of creeping up there. We'll make it dark. There it is. See, it's, uh, what I'm doing is I'm just adding some darkness here to the, the edge, which is pretty cool. There we go. Since it's, uh, I have these separated into two different materials, I have to also add it to the other one. So let me add it to the other one. Copy, 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 copy. We'll bring it in here. We'll paste it. This guy goes here, and then this guy goes here. Let it load. There it is. All right. And you can see it creeps out there too. There it is. Super subtle, but I like it. I can I can see it. Okay. There we go. We got our lights. We got our people. Um, our floor is super reflective. If I remember correctly, uh, could I do something like this? Let's see. Lights. Nope. Light probes. We're going to do ref reflection cube map. We're going to fake some reflections to see if this, this works. This is all just small little tweaks, all little little polishes, little flares here, here and there.
All right, I'm not sure how to use this reflection map. Maybe I, I thought I knew, but the size, blah, 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 yada, yada, intensity, clipping. Alright, there's one thing also I want to do here, this little edge, we want it to catch a little bit of light so we'll bevel it, and it'll just be real small. It's super subtle, but it matters. There you go. Okay, we're saving. Alright, um, I want to fix this distortion on the, the wave texture here. Where is that wave texture? And that is here. Okay, the only thing I want to add here All right, let's undo some of that. Okay, okay, we're almost there, we're almost there. Three hours and 23 minutes. Oh my god. I want to finish. I want to be done. Uh, there's just so many little things I like to do here. That I want to do. Like, I wish these guys had shadows, you know? But it has to do with the way I have the lights set up here. Alright, so there's one thing I am going to fix. Not fix, but do here. The reflection's too clean, so I'm going to add in a map, a texture map onto the reflection, so we have some some stuff going on here. So let's go into a texture. Let's try Veroni, and we'll do it on the roughness. We will wait until it loads. Uh, we will put the color instead, and we are going to invert it. It is loading, as you can see in the bottom here. We'll load it, we'll load it, we'll load it, we'll load it. There it is. It causes like some weird stuff here, huh? but it looks kind of fun. Uh, so yeah, so we're not going to do Veronae. We're going to do Musgrave. I always want to do a different texture, but Musgrave is always the savior. So what we're going to do is we'll do that, but what if we did something high? Okay. So subtle. 
Who, like nobody, nobody cares, right? Trying to get a glimpse here of it. <laughs> That's how subtle this is. Okay. Okay, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Alright. Alright, we're not gonna do that. We may just leave it clean. Okay, all right, we're getting to a point. I'm getting tired of this. Uh, okay, so last, 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 last thing. One of the last things is well, we forgot to. We're going to do the same texture for this guy, but we'll make sure to unwrap that correctly. Add some subtle texture onto the left wall, but it's mostly dark, so that's fine. It gives it that good look. Okay, and then um, is there any way to like cast some freaking shadows for my guys down here? All right, so I'm gonna put. See, I'm gonna test out putting a light right next to this guy. See if that gives me any um gives me any This is looking silly. I guess I think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to skip it. They're just not gonna have any shadows. You just have to get it. You just gotta have to get over it. Sometimes when you're making stuff like I said, you just gotta get over it and stop crying that it's not perfect. Stop crying. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. See, this is already ruining it. It's not good. Yeah, we're gonna have to get over it. Stop crying. Uh, maybe we'll add in uh, a couple more people. We'll just duplicate these guys. Where are my guys at? Copy this guy and this guy. Put them over here somewhere. We'll rotate them around or something. There we go. All right, we're about done.
All right, so let's go back to our reference. This is going to be a four-hour stream. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> let's just do it. Let's just add in. <laughs> let's just add in this drape guy. Uh, there's definitely... See this texture? That's what I wanted to get. We're not going to do it. We don't have time. We could do it. We don't have time. Yeah, we don't have time. I was just, I was literally contemplating just not to. I was like, yeah, maybe. Maybe we can have time. Maybe we have time. No. We have no time. This is what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, we're going to... We're going to duplicate our guy here. This guy. We'll bring him here. We'll make him large. Suzanne. She was our standing. We, we'll take her off. Rotate this, right? We got a giant man here. Put him at the right place here. We'll get these guys a little further away from him. Uh, let me make the floor not selectable because it's killing me. There we go. Alright, let's get these guys a little further away for the aesthetics. See, we got like the zigzag pattern here. We go woojung, woojung, woojung. All right, we got this guy. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, and what we're going to do is under shadows. Let's see if we, soft shadows look okay. The soft shadows look pretty good. Okay, and we're gonna put in we're gonna put in the tarp here for this guy. So let's let's isolate this guy. Let's go here. Uh, we would do cursor to selected. We're going to add in a giant um, plane. So let's make it huge. Let's bring it up. Uh, we will do cur oops, cursor to selected. Make sure the origin's okay here at the 3D cursor. Alright, we're gonna make it even bigger. Maybe it should be a rectangle, but we'll make it big. We want it to be how tall is this guy? This guy is sixty meters. So let's get this guy to be or the the tarp to be sixty meters as well. So let's do seventy. Let's give it some extra. So this is about the this guy character's height. We will make sure that all transformations are applied. Uh, and then we will divide the crap out of this. So right click divide and we'll make sure to do like, I don't know, 200. Something crazy. Maybe we shouldn't do 200. We'll see. Uh, and then we're going to give these some, uh, some, 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 some stuff here. So let's do cloth. Okay. So it's not cloth. We're giving him a rigid body. He's going to be active. Uh, and he's going to be the mesh. Deform, blah, 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 blah. If I go from the beginning, he falls, right? We don't want him to fall. We want him to be passive. Uh, and then we'll add in a cloth to this guy. And then there should be some settings here to easily change the cloth. Let's do silk. Let's hope that that looks okay. Oh, my guy's still falling. Okay. All right. I set the wrong thing. I made him a cloth. I made him a cloth. He can't be a cloth. He needs to be passive. There. He's not falling. This needs to be a cloth. The actual cloth material. Uh, actually, just for organization's sake, let me... 
set these guys into a new collection. We'll wait for cloth. We'll hit OK, and then we'll go back to isolate. There it is. Okay, now let's cloth it up. We'll do a cloth. Um, what the heck was I doing? Physical properties. Where's the hamburger menu? Here it is. Hit silk. That should put all the settings I need. And we're going to hit this. And we're going to wait for hours. Oh, it's not even touching it. Look at that. Not what I wanted. Okay, so let's go back. There's a couple things. We have to hit shade smooth just to make that as there. Uh, rigid body should work with this, right? It's not like the cloth material here. Dampening, eternal springs, pressure, coll collision, object detection, blah, blah, blah. Collision collection. Uh, I guess we'll put him under collision then. We'll move him to new collision. And let's see that into the outliner. And we'll put that in there. Uh, we will get these guys again. We will isolate them. And under the cloth settings here, let's set the collision. And now it should work. Self collision as well. Okay, is it because he's not... Oh, let's put collision? Is that, is that what I need to put on? Also, I don't like waiting here, so let me <laughs> make this go right to his head, right there. Okay. We'll save it. There it is. Maybe this tripe's not, not big enough for him, huh? Yeah, this tarp is not big enough. We'll make sure this is to like 600 maybe. We also got to make sure that it's the same here, 600. Some slow motion cloth over here. Oh my gosh, should it be at a thousand? One, two, three. Maybe the cash should be at a thousand. One, two, three. All right, let's see if, if I lower the quality, if it goes faster. It does. <laughs> it's not even touch. It's like draping off of him. All right, I guess it has to be five. Speed multiplier, let's put three. Is that like not even working? Oh my god. What am I doing wrong with this cloth?
Is this not a closed thing? Like, why isn't this working? Active, passive. Alright, it's definitely, the cloth part is definitely working. Hold on, let me Google something. Let me Google. Let's see. Okay, so apparently it's this. It's collision, not rigid body. But it's definitely not working. Oh my goodness. Should this have some thickness? Okay, I think I'm getting it to work now, finally. Alright, this definitely needs to be bigger. go back I'm glad we're at the right track here let's make this much bigger let's do it again we're almost done Interesting. It just stopped. <laughs> I wonder if I made this too thick. That's th All right, let's try it again. Why does it stop there? 
Oh, it's because this is a 2,000. We'll make this to 1,000. We will also save. We will also make this part of a collision. The ground floor here. The right here. Collision. Okay. We should be able to see it now. So this, this, this wall, these lights. All right, let's try this again. We'll go back. Damn it, it's getting reflected. Alright, so one thing I want to do is just have the floor collision with it. So we'll just do that. We'll do a separate by selection. Now we have a floor here. And we will make this not part of the collision. And only this. This and this is part of the collision. We got that good. All right. Let's try it again. It's a slow process. This is pretty interesting, pretty good, but there's a couple of things I want to fix. Uh, one being the rotation of this. So let's have this more at an angle. So the, the middle part, oopsies. Oop, oh my God messing everything up. Cursor to select it. Okay. And then we will rotate from the cursor and we will rotate right about here. There we go. So the, the, the point, the point is going into the front there. That's good. Um, and then I have this on silk, right? All right. We got silk. We'll do it again. 
see what this looks like. A nice slow process. Let me make sure everything's okay here. Like watching something in slow motion. I think because it's silk, and eh, it gave it too many uh, like, it gave it some, gave it too much stuff here. So I, I yeah, there's too much CGI. We're gonna change it from. We're gonna send it to cotton. Um. And we are going to make it even bigger. Uh, and we're gonna bring up the speed. See if that helps us here. Nope, the speed is what messes us up, <laughs> apparently. What if we bought it to two? Guess we can't speed it up. Okay, we got the objects, object collision, distance, blah, blah, blah. Do we have self collision on? Let's see. Blah, 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 blah. stiffness. Collision, self collision. All right, let's see if this helps. It's going, it's going, it's going. This the that's what I don't like doing simulations, they take forever. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. Look at that claw sim go, yes. We are <laughs> It's uh, it takes forever, so I'm just figuring a, a, a compromise here for. Speed, is not. I don't like doing Sims. They take too long.
what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a sim. And then I'll just like, I don't know, edit it. Make it look better. Cloth sim, cloth sim. All right, so about there. Looks like we're doing doing okay here. Uh, and we're going to just apply this. We're going to call it a day with this cloth sim. <laughs> uh, we're going to rotate it around until we get, I don't know, a more interesting look here. Mostly with the highlight shade here. Alright, we'll add in a subsurf. Make it smooth. If we add in a displacement, would that look terrible? Let's see. Would that look terrible? Put clouds on here. Ghosties, we just have a ghost here. All right, definitely no, uh, no, no subdivision. Oh, sorry, no displace. But we can do a solidify. Would that look good? Just to give it some thickness there. Can't really tell, but. It's like really slight. Kind of gives it a better outline there. So active element there. There you go. <laughs> we could spend so much time on this. All right. I think I'm getting close to calling it. See if we can add a material to this cloth, something simple, something easy.
All right, let me add just one last thing here. Take off this light. No good. And Add an image texture. Alright, give me one second guys, I'll be right back.
Alright. I do have to get going. God. So, let me just finish this last thing here. There we go. There's that texture I was looking for. Okay, I think we're almost done. <laughs> I've been saying that for like the past hour. I think we're almost done. 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 But I think for real, we're almost done.
All right. Okay, I think I'm done. This is the stream. Thank you guys for joining me. I did it. I did the thing. I did the streams. It's a going. It's a good. All done. I'm going to color it a little bit in Photoshop afterwards. But this is pretty much a very slight recreation of this thing. I think it turned out all right. Thank you, Ferd. I appreciate you being here to watch this long tedious process um hope everybody had a great day thank you everybody for joining me spitfire ferd mo jace abby evelyn kelly space cookie i think that's everybody who's here thank you guys for joining me i hope you guys have a great day have a great night i gotta go do some work some life work but Thank you guys for joining me. Have a great day. Have a great time. We will I will see you. I will see you next time, Ferd. See ya later.